Hi, uh, welcome back to supportbrainrights.com. Uh, this is Scott. And I wanted to uh, make a, a personal comment. Um, the Bahraini foreign minister, uh, Khalid al-Khalifa, um, he, uh, he was um, questioned by many reporters and um, he was denying the uh, human rights abuses, uh, denying everything as much as he could. And he really made, um, he made a comment that, um, that was quite disturbing. Um, he said, um, we've, he said, we've, think, we've seen things like this in the 1990s. And uh, we came out of it. So we're going to come out of this too. So that comment that he made, it uh, kind of indicates the mindset of the Bahraini monarchy and the regime that is really engaged in these horrible abuses. Uh, they think that uh, by just uh, cracking down as hard as they can and arresting and imprisoning as many of their critics as possible, that they can just forcefully suppress everything and go back to uh, go back to uh, the way things were as always. Um, but um, that's not the case. Uh, that's not going to happen here. The Bahraini monarchy is not going to come out of this okay. Uh, this is not the 1990s. This is the year 2011. This is the Arab Spring where you have massive pro-democracy protests and the whole world is watching. And we do know what happened. You um, also have the internet is very widespread now. You have YouTube, you have uh, Twitter, you have Facebook, and uh, the world knows that you did commit outrageous human rights abuses in violently crushing massive pro-democracy protests that uh, were, for the most part, peaceful. And we do know that. And we know that uh, this, we, we, and especially me, we all now, we've heard of Bahrain, and we know Bahrain is ruled by a regime that will commit as the worst abuses that it can, that it can get away with in greedily holding on to power. And you can hire all the public relations firms. Uh, you can use your state uh, propaganda agencies as much as you want. Nothing you do now is going to change that. This is something that is now known throughout the world. And, um, and uh, you basically have permanently wrecked your reputation in a very visible way uh, that you will not be able to undo. In fact, um, and uh, don't think that just arresting lots of people is going to make it go away. You can arrest everybody in your country. You can imprison your entire nation. But um, that's not going to do it because you would also have to arrest the entire American anti-war movement. The American anti-war movement might be juggling many things right now. Um, between Iraq and Afghanistan and um, and things like that. But um, American anti-war activists, plenty of us do know what happened in Bahrain and are quite shocked by it and are quite upset by it. And many of us now are very familiar with, have become familiar with your regime. And uh, so you would have to arrest the entire American anti-war movement. You would also have to arrest the entire British anti-war movement, and you would also have to arrest all anti-war activists throughout Europe. You're not going to be able to do that. The abuses and the atrocities that you committed are so outrageous and are so inexcusable that this is stuff that is going to be circulated throughout the West for many years to come. And um, and we we are going and we are going to become further and further repulsed by it. So don't think you're going to come out of this okay, um, and don't think you can just violently crush all of this. You can't, and you won't.